So I have thought of something again. Um, I've kind of thought about this time, relationships in this generation. This is not judgment or anything. I'm just saying I just want to talk about it. And I just like to, you know, share what I like to talk about. <laughs> but um, so basically, I kind of learned like the kind of love per se that I would say and like what kind of relationship like romantic relationship I would say works the best so let's start from the beginning when it comes to relationships I noticed that a lot of people in our generation really want someone to complete them you know like you complete me um you're my everything what's another thing they say you're my world and honestly, that's something that I would never say to somebody only because, first of all, words are powerful. Second of all, I just don't, I don't want my significant other to be my world. I don't want my significant other to be my other half to complete me as a whole person. I don't want my... um my other half, I mean, I don't want my significant other to, you know, fill the hole in my heart. I just don't. And the reason for that is I want to make sure that I am whole myself before I bring somebody else in the picture because you know, as far as like finances and all that, of course, of course. But I also want to make sure that I am whole within who I am. And that's really important to me. Like, I want to make sure that I'm whole within who I am. I want to make sure that if something per se was to happen, and it doesn't even have to be on bad terms. If something was going to happen and my significant other one day said, you know what? I think I'm going to move to Canada. And, um start a new life and become an actress or something like that I don't know and he wanted to follow his dreams elsewhere or even if it was something bad he broke my heart and left me um I don't want to feel like I'm dying and I don't want to feel like half of me is gone you know like and I don't want to also feel like my security has gone because like what if I if I, I learn, this is just my opinion, but <laughs> I learned that I want to have my own finances, my own, you know, um, my own, I basically want to have my money up. I want to have my money up to the point where I don't need that other person in my life. Like, you know what I mean? I don't want to depend on them for my financial security. I don't want to depend on them for my emotional security. I don't want to depend on them for my mental security. No, I want to make sure that I can stand tall on my own before I let somebody, you know, come into my life and be my significant other, a boyfriend or whatever, mm -mm, whatever you want to call it. But, um, yeah, and I also want to be okay if one day he decides to, I don't know, follow his dreams and move somewhere else that I can't go. I want us to be able to part, like, you know, part from each other and have me still be okay and not think that half of my life is over. Yes, it'll be sad if something was to ever happen, but I don't want to depend on this man um, you know, financially, mentally, um, emotionally. I don't want to, I, I want to be able to stand tall on my own altogether as a woman, you know, as a strong woman before I let another man in my life. And I expect him to do the same. Um, that's just, you know, I really hope that he, he can do the same because that's what I'm going to be doing. But hey, that's just something I learned about like recent like relationships in our generation or like, you know, anywhere, I guess they just tend to really depend on each other. You know, like it's fun to build a future together. It's fun to do all that. But and I'm not saying what if, what if, you know, in a negative way, I'm saying this will honestly 
if you build yourself up like you know basically so that you're a boss like you can handle things on your own without the dependency of another person it's just gonna improve you like you yourself it's going to improve you <laughs> like I can't even explain it because you know you want to be whole you want to look at look at yourself in the mirror and say like I'm whole I don't need somebody in my life I want somebody I desire somebody in my life but I don't need a significant other to complete me because I'm okay you know maybe not okay all the time but because I'm strong and I know myself and I'm whole within who I am. So yeah, um, that's just kind of what I think about relationships. You know, I just really want to make sure that I'm whole myself before I let another person into my life. And I advise women, men, anybody, you guys should do it too. Because honestly, it makes you... It, when you're working on yourself, honestly, you don't even really think about, like, you get your lonely spells. You get your lonely spells. But you don't really think about, you know, where's my man's at? Where's my man's at? Where's my girl at? You think about, I can't wait until, you know, I attract my significant other because I know they're out there. And I know me working on myself, me focusing on myself is going to, you know, make me attract them. That's how I look at it. Not where's my man at. It's I can't wait till he here. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I don't know. That's just a little bit food for thought. Or whatever. Bye.